Hey everybody, this is Greg with You're the Dad Gaming. Today I finally found the fishing boat blueprint and I'm going to show you where I found it and uh, after I find it I'm going to show you how to build the fishing boat and uh, how to use it. So I'm going to run, just uh, going to jump to where I teleported. So I was an archipelago uplift uh, island if you have one, I won't say that's where it'll spawn. I think it's still totally random because I've been fishing everywhere to try to find this thing and just haven't had any luck. I'd actually kind of given up on it. Um, for whatever reason, today I was just messing around. I thought, you know, I'm going to go do some fishing, try to get the fishing uh, blueprint boat blueprint again. Um, so I've got a little kind of speed way to get out to the fishing hole a little quicker um, and get back. So I need to build out a little bit here to get a little closer to the fishing shadow and get my fishing net set up so that I can shoot it. Got to make sure you aim it in the right direction. And there it is. So let me jump in the water and retrieve it. And finally, 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 I found it. It probably took me, I would say, a couple of hundred times fishing with the fishing net to get it. So once you get it, um, you have to actually go into your inventory. And on Xbox, you press X to uh, essentially read the blueprint and uh, you know, you'll use it. So it'll read it and it'll note it. So that way now you can go build this. Uh, so now I'll uh, pick up that fishing net and I will head back to where I, uh, an island where I have a machine factory and skilled machine factory um, so we can get this fishing boat actually built. And you can see how those dash pads helped me get back and forth. Uh, whenever I was trying to farm these blueprints, that's what I was using a lot on some islands. All right, so there's a regular machine factory. Um, it's going to go over here to my skilled machine factory and you will notice now that under vehicle I have the fishing boat available there's also the biplane which was new um, so it takes a log two engine parts high capacity battery for fuel tank and 10 aluminum ingots um, this is gonna take a little while but I'll show you uh, for the fishing net if you haven't built the fishing net where to build the fishing net uh, you just go to your workbench right there's the fishing net so you need to go to your workbench and it is all the way down towards the bottom of the workbench and you can build this pretty early in the game, the fishing net. Um, it doesn't take a lot of materials. It's down here in module, just next to the fan. Uh, it's a log, iron ingot, and some straw. So pretty easy to build early in the game. Looks like my fishing boat is just about done. So I'm going to grab that and we are going to go check this fishing boat out. Um, so I'm going to use my little fast travel system here, cannons, and try to get out to the water so we can throw this down. And I like using, if you haven't seen my video, I like using cannons and dash pads just to move around the map a lot faster. Um, I just It comes in handy. All right, so uh, fishing boat, like any other vehicle, you're going to equip it, and then you're just going to toss it in the water. And I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's because the water's a little shallower there that it's picking that up and making the boat do that. But once you get in it and start riding it, it, it all evens out. Um, so the, the fishing boat, um, you know, you use the left thumbstick to uh, kind of move it around. You can switch the camera kind of like you can with the helicopter, X to get off and X to ride it. Uh, it handles a lot like the buggy, um, but it's a little bit easier, I think, to handle just because you're in the water and you don't have to worry about running into things. Um, so we're going to go along here and 
you know, you can kind of take a look. Looks like it's got, you know, it's got some nice little accessories. It looks okay. It's not a bad little model. Um, and you can attach things to this. Uh, I don't know how much you can build on this, but I know you can attach, you know, at least your fishing nets to this. And I guess you can build several fishing nets. And that way, when you pull up to the fishing spot, you can just shoot those nets out. Um, so maybe you can, you know, if you're trying to farm for some of the fish types to get your uh, fish collector mission, uh, or if you're just trying to get the trick glider blueprints, or if you're just trying to farm fish holes, you know, because they they have some uh, pretty good uh, random chances to get some really nice items. You know, you can get griffin feathers, you can get a lot of stuff uh, out of these fishing holes. So here I'm pulling up, going to pull up to the fish shadow. Um, I like to call them a school of fish more than a fish shadow because it really looks more like a school of fish. So we're going to equip the fishing net, put it on the front of the boat here so we can shoot out. And as you can see, I've been here before and I've just used, you know, regular floor. Works just as well. I mean, the fishing boat's nice, but I, I don't know. So let's let's see what we got. Um, you know, got some crab. Those are good for missions. Elemental dust. Feces. That can be hard to get, so that's good. High grade refining stones, dusty old copper coins, um, pretty worthless, but I guess you can always offer it to your picture book. So I'm going to take that back off because I like to have one in my inventory. Um, and then I can, you can just pick up the fishing boat, put it in your pocket, save it for later. So, you know, I'm going to teleport back and I'm going to show you one place that I think the fishing boat will be useful. Uh, so I have several empty islands and if you've ever been on the empty island, you may think, well, there's no fishing location on the empty island. Well, there is, it's just way, way, way out on the edge of the map. Um, it's up there, I think close to D one E one. Um, I'm not sure if I point in the right direction, but we will drive out here. See if I can find this thing. Sometimes if you get a little higher, you can kind of see the shadow in a distance because um, it does render. Yeah, I think we need to turn a little bit to head more toward D1E1. Uh, let's see. I see a structure out here that I probably built before. So let's see. I think I see the shadow. It's got to be around here. And... There it is. Okay, that was a little harder to see. All right, so, you know, you come out here, you set up your fishing net, you know, so this is probably a good reason to use your fishing boat. Um, you know, this is an empty island, but the, it should always spawn in the same location. And there you go, I get some crab, more crab, more sharks, crabs, lots of crabs. Crabs are good for uh, the um, NPCs. Uh, a lot of times you want to get the multi a sling blueprint or some rare uh, items from NPCs. They usually always want crabs, so that's good. You can catch them with crab pots too, but it's always nice to have. So yeah, that's uh, that's where how I found the fishing boat blueprint and uh, how to use the fishing boat. If you got any questions, uh, drop a comment. We'll try to get them addressed. If uh, you know anything you want us to see to cover, uh, let us know. Uh, you know, there's a, there's quite a bit in this game, but I've already covered quite a bit so that there might be something I'm missing or something you saw and you're like, Hey, could you please cover this? Um, I've also got a fishing guide so you can check that out too. I'll drop a link in the description. And, uh, you know, if you enjoying this content, please consider liking this video. And as always, if you, if you enjoy what we're doing here um, and you want to help us grow, just please subscribe. Um, that really helps us. It, it unlocks things for us right now. We're still growing, but the more subscribers we get, the more things we can do with the channel and it just helps us out. And uh, that's all for today. And as always, thanks for watching.